Hi folks, Alex Klingelhafer from Exential Wealth Advisors here. It is 7.03 in the middle part of the country. It is Tuesday, March 30th, 2021. Here's your morning jog of economic headlines around the world here in the U.S. U.S. Treasuries are trading down a little bit. That means yields are up. Folks are looking at the Biden stimulus plan, the infrastructure plan here. It looks like it's going to be about three to four trillion dollars. Treasury, Sec excuse me, uh, Transportation Secretary Pete Buttigieg came out yesterday and said the plan does not include mileage taxes. It really is going to be funded by additional taxes on higher income earners. Details are going to be released tomorrow. Biden's going to have an event in Pittsburgh. That's a good place to do an infrastructure plan. Lots of steel, lots of bridges. All that might we'll see what's in the bill he wants to pass it by summer republicans are they eager to give him a win well they don't really have much of a choice they don't have control in either house and you know the democratic uh, senator who is a check on the democratic party uh, from west virginia hmm, that's sort of a blue collar state so uh, maybe they'll have a, a lot of this stuff uh, go through in Austria, the Prime Minister is in talks to buy a million doses of the Sputnik V vaccine. Now, that vaccine is not approved by the European Commission just yet. That's very interesting because now countries are starting to go out and buy their own vaccines outside of the European program, in this case from Russia. About 50 countries have approved the use of the Sputnik V vaccine, so it's not like they're the first folks to go out and try something new but this is one of the first purchases to go outside of the european approval process meaning that some countries are getting a little bit fed up with vienna's leadership and of course uh, vienna being you know, eu leadership versus uh, just austria's leadership but uh, getting a little tired of that leadership and wanting to go procure their own vaccines outside of the system elon musk Tesla, select list name, opportunity list name, uh, says that they are running a shortage of battery cells. Makes it difficult to scale their semi-truck production. We've talked about rare earth metals coming into shortages. Now the actual battery cells are coming into shortages. Chips are, are in shortages. All of these sort of EV components, chips, battery cells, rare earth materials, just things, physical materials are, are coming to shortage. We're generally going to see prices go up when shortages come into play. This will be an interesting theme to, to look at. If we're talking about large scale GDP growth, the economy rebounding from a recession, if all of these high flying names can't get their parts, boy, it will be difficult to hit those GDP uh, numbers. Speaking of economic growth. Speaking of our continuing theme of economic bifurcation, U.S. doing really well, Europe doing uh, really poorly. Let me show you some data. It's now hitting Reuters. Let me scroll down and show you some data here. So uh, restaurants, boom. EU down here at basically zero. U.S. now down, uh, excuse me, up to about 70% of capacity. That's pretty encouraging. Uh, mobility <clears throat> for retail orders here. U.S. now about 85% of free COVID. Europe down here at about 50%. And one last one here, just the OECD. Now this is a European, European data set. US above baseline levels. Uh, and uh, all of the, the European countries down uh, here about 10, 15% below. This has been our theme for two weeks, two and a half weeks of the program. U.S. doing really well, Europe not doing so well because of vaccination, because of opening up. The data is showing it. It's starting to show it, and we'll, we'll see it here in, in Q2. Last but not least, PayPal. We talked uh, earlier in the week about Visa accepting USD coin. At least if you saw the earlier video yesterday, we talked about Visa accepting USD coin. PayPal is launching their crypto checkout service it's going to affect 26 million merchants 
around the world, they can now accept crypto. We've talked about crypto. Once it starts getting accepted as payment, that'll be the true proof is in the pudding. Once retail gets into it, that may inspire uh, some additional acceptance. PayPal, that's a big mover. They're really the original online payment service now accepting I believe three types of crypto. I guess Bitcoin, Bitcoin Cash, and Litecoin. We'll see if they accept some additional coins going forward. That's what I had for today. If you want additional information throughout the day, feel free to follow me on Twitter. It's OKCCFACFP. Until then, I'm out.